Yeah, it's all good. It's always good. You know, it just it just makes us feel more comfortable to go out and execute on Saturday. Yeah, what was the focus of the bye week for you? You know, individually, what did you focus on? Uh, you know, just really sticking to the same things that we've been doing and recovering. You know, just get your body back as good as you can. Theo, you're somebody who's had success in the red zone as far as red zone offense goes this year. What do you think needs to improve in that area? I think we could just execute a little bit better. Um, you know, all of us, we we definitely got some little things we can fix. But uh, yeah, definitely just comes down to execution. You know, uh, you know, sometimes I've missed a couple blocks that prevented Nate or Marcus from scoring. So it's all across the board. Theo, since you met Marquis last year, how have you helped him in this transition to college? How have you helped support him? Yeah, I've been. I, uh, I stay in Marquise's ear just because I see how um, great he can be in the future or and now. Honestly, uh, he's grown a lot. He's matured a lot. Honestly, and um, just what I tell him all the time is just play fast. Like you know, you're extremely fast. Just play fast. It's gonna be hard to keep up with it. Yeah, what have you seen from Texas, Texas A&M's uh, secondary? I mean, as a defense in a whole, um, I think they're very disciplined, you know, high motor. They they got a lot of energy. They got a lot of guys that play with a lot of passion. And um, I think the, the coach's name is Elko. Uh, he, he does a great job with his schemes and stuff. So it, it'll be a good test for us. You had a week where you're not, you know, game planning. Or you're not in your normal weekly schedule. And you kind of get to see the chaos of college football from afar. Is that hard to ignore outside noise? Is, is it kind of nice to sort of get into that world for a week? Yeah, I mean, you know, during the bye week, we get to be normal. So it was it was, um, it was, was fun seeing how, like, just watching college football and just seeing the excitement from it. You know, after these first four games, I've taken the bye week to reflect on where specifically in your game do you want to grow the most over this last two-thirds of the season? Uh, my physicality and my blocking. I think that's what I want to improve in the most. What makes Drake Norwood a good quarterback? He, his IQ is uh, extremely high. He has a lot of experience, um, and I, I just I, I feel like he played receiver before. Like he kind of knows what routes to expect when they're coming. You know, at certain depths, and then he, he's just extremely consistent. You can't you know you can't ask for nothing else. Yeah. Theo, playing in a wide receiver room as talented as Mizzou's this year, how has that helped you continue to grow your game? And what well, yeah. Oh, I can't have no days off. I got to come to work every day to, um, you know, keep my starting spot. There's a lot of young guys behind me that are hungry, and you can tell. So, yeah, it just – and that just builds the bond um, even tighter at practice just because we're all pushing each other to be better. Yeah, we've been dating back to high school ball. What are some lessons you've learned about uh, being able to handle a large crowd that y'all are going to be walking into one this week in the conversation? As long as we execute, the crowd won't be loud.